What's up? My name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Today we're going to be talking about Efron Divided by Ernesto Cisneros. This 2020 middle grade novel is beautiful. It is really important right now. And I feel like I keep having to say like this book is really important right now. This book is really important now. I'm so thankful that this book exists in the world right now. And it kind of stinks that we have to have all of these books existing in the world right now because of all of the terrible things that are happening to people right now because people are kind of selfish and jerks and mean and it just makes me so sad. But I'm thankful that in this time that we are living in that we have books like Efron Divided. Efron is a middle schooler. He is an American born citizen as are his uh, twin siblings younger siblings, kindergarten age. His mother and father uh, came to the United States from Mexico. They are two of the hardest working, loving, kindest humans, parents you will ever meet in a middle grade novel. Like I wish I could meet them in real life. Uh, they're just, they're just, just a brilliant, beautiful family. And uh, one day, Efron's mom doesn't come home from work and they find out that she has been uh, picked up by the authorities and she is being deported. And Efron has to take on a lot more responsibility in the family. Uh, he's in charge of getting the, the siblings to school. One of his twin siblings um, had the umbilical cord wrapped around uh, their neck when before they were born and it's caused some issues. So like, it's just really hard. Like they have this really tiny place that they live in. Like the bathroom is where Efron goes to read and do homework, like there's just no space. And now with this amazing mother gone for the time being, Efron is forced to pick up the slack. And Efron goes from being this amazing student, phenomenal kid in school to you know, a lot on his plate and a lot of really challenging things that he's having to deal with. Um, I don't know. I was moved. I couldn't stop turning pages. I wanted the happy ending that we all want in stories like this. Uh, Efron actually has to go and like try to meet the mom to try to help her get back to the United States and give her some money. So he actually has to, to go alone to Mexico because he has the paperwork to come back. It's just so wild for this, I guess, 39 year old teacher in Michigan who teaches a bunch of, you know, mostly 10 year old white kids uh, in our little tiny farm town. It's a pretty wild story. Um, but I think for a lot of people in this world, it's not a wild story. And that's really sad to me. And the reason that I'm thankful that a book like Efron Divided exists in the world uh, so that our readers can experience stories like this and we can put characters to the issues that our world is having and we can really see how the decisions that some are making are affecting families and when kids hear about kids in cages um, and people being pulled from their families I know that's hard for them to comprehend and I'm thankful that they have stories that will help them understand the things that are happening in our world um, because it is through stories like this that the world can change and the world can become a better place because kids really are the answer. And I'm thankful uh, that I got a chance to spend a couple hundred pages um, in Ernesto's book. And I got to meet Efron and I got to meet the, the kids at his school. And I got a chance to experience this beautiful story and help me uh, further my understanding on the things that are happening in, in this country and in this world. I look forward to uh, continuing to learn and grow um, and doing my part to, to get books like this into the hands of educators and to young readers. So if you're looking for a great book, you're looking for a book that's going to help uh, kids and help the world, and also a darn good story with some pretty special characters. Efron Divided is the book for you. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an awesome-tastic day.